Hi everyone. Today I have master trainer Jared Tucker from Australia with me. Um, hey. Hi Jared. Hey, how you doing, George? I'm good. Uh, I, I can probably I can hear my echo. Can you hear my echo from the studio when I talk? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. I'm not gonna scream and go loud. Um, Jared, can you please uh, introduce yourself super quickly to our audience? Yeah, so hi, my name is Jared Tucker. I am a Strong Nation Master Trainer and a Zumba Education Specialist from Brisbane in Australia. Brisbane, Australia. Congratulations on all the features that um, recently you've done. How many live streams already? Two, three? Uh, two, two so far, and I have one more to go so far. Fingers crossed for more, eh? When's your next one? Uh, next Tuesday, 22nd. Cool, cool. But you also did one, um, a Team Teach one, no? Well, I did too. I did the Masterclass with Eileen, Mario, and Anna. There you go. So we're super happy that we get to see different master trainers on our live streams. And Jared Tucker, it's been a long time coming. We've been, wait I've been waiting. Like, when is it his turn? Because I want to see how you, how, you, how you go on with the live stream classes. So today I'm here at my gym. Um, I'm filming. You are actually my third guest of uh, master trainer chit chat introduction. Uh, I'm going to start by uh, telling people my first. Um, the first time we met, I think it was at Bali. Was it the first time? Bali Fitness. Right? Um, Back in 20... Before that. Yeah, 2014, 15? It's got to be like at least a good four or five years ago. Yeah, yeah. So um, that was the first time we met. It was in Bali Fitness Weekend and events happened in Indonesia. And then when I met Jared, the first thing that connected us together was video games <laughs> because we are gamers and I, I would say you are probably the second biggest gamer I know really second one I have a I, friend having said that I just pre-ordered the PlayStation 5 this morning so did you for real in my break in my training my friend messaged me and he's like dude 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 PS5 I was like oh hang on five minute break everybody let's do that <laughs> which one did you get did you get this version or the digital version this version. Nice, nice. So yeah, we can share games in the future. <laughs> All right, so can you please tell us about your um, background, your fitness journey? Did you have any um, training before you became a Zest or Master Trainer? Did you have any martial art background, etc.? So go ahead. So let's start way back then because martial arts actually came first. I actually grew up doing uh, Re Taekwondo here in Australia. So that was where I grew up with something my, my mother liked me to do because I never did sports. I didn't enjoy anything that was like kicking balls around. I was like, eh, I don't really care. I don't get it. It's boring. You know, um, so yeah, I grew up doing re-taekwondo. I got to uh, black tip, which in taekwondo is the second highest, uh, but I was 14. Uh, and you couldn't, in Australia, you weren't allowed to go for a black belt until you were 16. Um, so I stopped. I was like, nah, I don't want to hang around for two years doing the same thing, so I'm out. I'm out. And it, it's, it's funny because that has really helped, obviously, in what we do now with, with Strong. Um, coming back to a lot of that has been really, really fun and something I really, really loved as a kid. Uh, but my background after that when I got into work was mainly marketing. So I was a, a national brand manager for a diving company and an outdoor company. Um, and so we did a lot of that sort of stuff. <laughs> And uh, before that, I also did a lot of performing arts. So I'm a singer, actually, by trade. Um, we know, well, master trainers know. <laughs> some of you have heard the karaoke's that go on at the, the Miami meeting, right? Um, so I did a lot of that, and I ended up managing a friend's performing arts school. And um, he, he sold the business, long story short. We got sort of stranded with our jobs. So my partner and I at the time, her and I uh, built our own performing arts school with like two weeks' notice. We're like, okay, we got like three grand in the bank, that's it. Let's advertise, let's hire some halls, let's put some classes on. And then Zumba came along. That was back in the early days of Zumba here in Australia. And we were like, okay, everybody has Zumba, we have to get Zumba. We have to have this. And I was like, I'm, I'm not good dancing. So she went down to do the training and I went with her as the backup. And I had no idea what the hell was going on. It was terrible for me. And then our classes were about to launch. And I think a week before it, she said, look, I'm too scared to do this, you do it. So I got stuck. No, no, she just left. That was it. No, I'm not doing it. You do it. She like threw her hands up. I'm like, I can't do it. So I got stuck teaching Zumba. Had no idea what the hell was going on. 
And I ended up actually just loving it and it kind of went from there and we started off with one class and then we added two and three and four and we we're doing it seven days a week and then we added all the other things like toning and all the stuff went crazy. So we built a whole fitness business um, out of that, which was awesome. And then I became a, a Zumba jammer in 2012, maybe, maybe just before I became a Zess, I think. So I got about six months. I got about five jams in. And then the position of gold zest came um, for audition in Australia. And I went for that. And then I got picked for that. And I had to give up being a DJ. And then it just went from there. I just put all my heart and soul into it and on and on. Who was your zest for your B1 back then? Yep. Maria? Maria Theresa. Very cool. Um, 2012, when you did gold, was it gold was your first um, training before B1? Oh, no, no, as a, I did the early 2010 for B1. <laughs> dog right behind me. Um, okay. My dog's running around here. <laughs> walking around, just chilling. Um, <laughs> unexpected. Um, were you the first batch of uh, master trainers that got trained? Yep. Oh, wait, were you trained in either US or in, in Germany? No, you weren't. Neither. I'm, I live in Australia, dude. They don't do that for us. <laughs> I flew to Europe for it. We did the whole, uh, I got picked on the cruise with you. Remember where they did that class with us on the back of the ship at like six o'clock in the morning. We're like, what yeah, the hell is this? Literally six o'clock in the morning. It's no joke. Yeah. And I was like, what, what the hell is this? And I was teaching classes similar to this, like uh, more high intense classes. I was like, I love this. Whatever this is, I love this. It's cool. Yeah. And then they read out our names, remember? And they're like, okay, we're going to read these people out. You guys have to go up. We're going to have a meeting with you later. Awesome. But my training was I got given a video um, <laughs> because I couldn't get to Germany and I couldn't get to the US because of the extreme cost just to get trained. And I think I had like trainings and stuff like that that had already been. Because in Australia, we book trainings months ahead because of the travel. So we can't just... You know, it was too hard and I had sold out trainings with gold and things like that and I couldn't get there. So I got given a video and that's how I did my, my training for strong. And then I just had to keep practicing behind the scenes until, until we got there. Um, what do you think that people would like to know about you that they don't get to know from social media? Haha, <laughs> there's a lot you probably don't get to know from social media for me. I am very introverted. I am very shy. I do not like to be out in the spotlight a huge amount. Um, I, I really need to work on that a lot. Um, <laughs> okay, they're done. They're, done. they're leaving. <laughs> uh, no, that's that's probably the biggest thing. Like, I'm actually quite introverted. I'm not a big put my life out there kind of guy. I'm very just stick to my crowd. Very keep it on the down low. I don't need to you know shout from the hilltops who I am or that sort of stuff. So, did you go for any like singing contest back then? Yes. Um, surprisingly, yes, I actually uh, am a qualified singing teacher. So I did uh, Trinity College of London syllabus as a kid and I got in Australia when I did my grade eight, which is the highest grade you go to, I got the second top mark in the country. Wow. See, these are the things that people would not know. They would probably just yeah. like, okay, Jared Tucker, master trainer, <laughs> he's doing live stream right now. And then now that we know that he's a certified singing teacher. Yeah. So yeah, my background was, was this, not dancing or anything like that. It was the yes. other stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> come on, George. Hey, F5. We just did that. <laughs> Very good. Um, I, I like to do like lightning rounds, just like go really quick. Okay. So what is your favorite fitness program right now? Strong. Hands down. Totally. Like, yes. Well, that's the following uh, following question. What is your favorite quadrant from like what class? Oh my God. Um, 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 oh, oh, it's gotta be a quadrant three for sure. Um, oh, dude, it's maybe class eight, maybe class eight. I really love check one, two, check one, two. Oh, nice. I, like it it's kind of cool. and I love the music in that. Uh, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Either bubble gum. Or chocolate mint. <laughs> nice. or, or a lot of them. <laughs> Chicken or beef? Chicken. Nice. Uh, what else? I don't even know what else to ask because 
I think we're doing good with time this time because the previous two videos, I ran like way over time and I promised people about 10 to 15 minutes, short clip, get to know the master trainers. So right now we're at 10 minutes, which is perfect. So, well, I guess we're done. And um, thank you so much for joining me for the chit chat and hope we get to know master trainers um, about who they really are, um, what they do, what they did, instead of just from social media, we see yeah. all right, the center. Everybody else has a lot of cool stuff happening below the surface. No, absolutely. No, I've known you for like five, six years now. And I know that you can sing, but I didn't know you were a singing teacher. Yeah. I would have been asking you to teach me some stuff. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Because I actually went for a singing lesson six months yeah. ago, just for fun. Because, cool. just because. So, you like it. yeah, well, I don't know any, anything. I, I didn't understand anything. I had to protect you please. I did not sing from my throat or I don't know what I don't even know what that means. Singing from here instead of down here in your diaphragm. Yeah. Exactly. So I don't know how to do that. So next time. We don't know what you gotta to play your time. You probably have to do more Zoom education talking yeah. again. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me and uh, let me see when I can roll out this video. Hopefully very soon. Um, I really do like doing my live here. Or not live, but like the, the video in my studio. It's quite nice. Yeah. Right. Well, have a good day. Uh, people, you. check out Jared's, because um, you're still running virtual classes, right? Yes. Cool. Maybe I can uh, include that, um, the video description. In yep, the, the, the links are all on uh, Swan Nation on the Sync Studio. Cool. All right. Well, thank you so much. Have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Thank all right, you. buddy. Bye-bye.